Ici, à notre école, on a des parents euh, qui représentent des professions diverses et fascinantes. Ils ont beaucoup d'expertise à partager avec nous. Et c'est pour cela que nous avons euh, commencé ce projet il y a plusieurs années maintenant, euh, Parents Promoting Pedagogy. What we're going to be talking about tonight, it's mindfulness, it's well-being, it's connecting with yourself. It's these important themes uh, that we have to think about. Now, you know, we are all talking about chat GPT this morning. I just typed mindfulness. Okay, let me check what I know is similar to what chat GPT says. So it said, <laughs> yeah, you have to have a sense of alertness and be aware of what's happening around you with curiosity and acceptance. And curiously, I found a commonality between artificial intelligence and mindfulness. And I realized that we are talking about it so much and yet we don't know what exactly does it mean. You know, it's not about what you do. It's about the experience you create around what you do. It's kind of creating tools and strategies for our kids, for the crisis situations and vulnerabilities, the hardships which we all go through. And then there is something in us that we close our eyes and those childhood experience which our parents created with us, that first steps in and kind of saves us in those moments of crisis. And today, like simplest thing like going for a walk with my daughter, having a conversation, kissing her on, a fo on her forehead and being consistent with it because it's if I'm doing that same activity at the same time over years, that simple kiss transforms into cultivating a sense of intuition. And be free before I be a slave. And before I be a slave. I'll be in my grave. I'll be buried in my grave. Let's thrive, not just survive. I re-educated myself in the field of well-being and how to combine science and spirituality to empower people, especially our youth, to live their best lives. To use their own faculties using simple modalities that can be self-taught to harmonize their emotions, mental, physical bodies for optimal results and performance. Decades of living in a society that has expanded our understanding of the components of health to include the psyche and the intellect and the spirit has given rise to the realization that we are complex beings. Allopathic medicine is no longer sufficient for a full recovery of health. We must include all the facets of human being that cannot be measured in a laboratory. That is, all the power that cannot be seen or touched or felt. As we are discovering, it is this invisible part of our anatomy that is the true power battery of our life. The power we cannot see has the most influence over all that we can see, touch, smell, taste, and hear. We explore the emerging truth that the most valuable resources we have as human beings are those that we cannot see. Creativity, love, trust, faith, compassion, imagination, endurance, determination, vision, courage. Everything we create is the result of our invisible assets. Everything. For me, the most vital teachings that I can provide now are those that reinforce the truth that every thought you have, every word you say, every act you initiate, in some way influence the whole of this world. You are more powerful than can be measured.